A few people had asked me how this solar tracker is wired up. It's really very simple. There's no relays. It's just a pair of solar panels. And I have a geared motor here. This one I used to use for wind turbines, so it's pretty strong. And you have the positive and negative wiring. The positive wiring is the back side of the solar panel. So it goes over to over here, the positive terminal and the negative turn, uh, terminal. Okay, so that's solar panel A. And for solar panel B, it's the same thing, except this time, the positive is on this side. Sorry, positive is on this side, and the negative is on the other side. So solar panel A and B is in fact reversed. And I draw a little diagram here. I don't know how clearly, how clearly it is. So solar panel A, positive to positive, negative to negative. Solar panel B, positive to negative, and the negative to the positive. And this is the DC motor here. Okay, there's nothing mysterious. And on the bottom of the solar tracker, I just have this lazy Susan here. You see it takes nothing to turn. This is a 4 inch one. And I'm using this tracker for a sun oven, the global sun oven. So maybe you could use a 6 inch. The bigger the better, so it's a little more stable. But it seems to work fine. Now, when you see the solar panel, even though it's not under direct sunshine, when it turns to one side, the motor turns, it's turning counterclockwise. When I move the solar panel to where both face the sunlight equally, the motor stops. And if I turn it to the left side here, I have a little bit of wind here. You can see the motor reverses. It goes in clockwise. So that's how it works. And in the middle here, it stops because the voltage of the solar panel, they're both receiving more or less the same voltage. So they're fighting each other and the motor stops. I would think if this is a a very small motor and if you have a big solar panel I guess theoretically you can burn out the motor but this is a heavy-duty motor and I have only 5 watt solar panel on here so it doesn't even get warm or anything. Right. If I move it to one side, the motor goes this way, counterclockwise. Move it to the middle position, the motor stops. And then the motor reverses. Now it's moving clockwise. So there's a range where it will not move. And once it so you imagine the sun is moving over here and then uh, your, your tracker will move. When one panel gets more sun, it will move. So that's how it works. Maybe I'll take a photo of this. You can see it better. <laughs> 